Hey friends, welcome back to Hanging with JK. Today I want to share with you a simple way to make a sweet and healthy snack without all the extra processed sugar you would find in a store-bought product. What I'm going to use is a can of Dole pineapple rings. You can use fresh pineapple as well. And then I'm going to use my Ninja Foodie pressure cooker with Tender Crisp. And this particular unit has a uh, dehydrate setting on it which allows me to dehydrate fruit meat whatever it is but in this scenario we're going to use uh, canned pineapple and it's going to lock in those sweet juices and make it taste like candy when it's all done I hope you guys are ready to see this and enjoy this with me okay so I've got my can of pineapples all open here and it's just standard pineapple rings and if you had fresh pineapple slice it up and just cut it to about um, a quarter inch thick and then what you have here is all the pineapple juice and it's my standard um, ninja foodie pot with the pressure cooking um, uh, tray in here but then here I have the air crisping plate and the air crisping tray you can find these on Amazon if you don't have it or go to the ninja website directly and then once you have that in there all you want to do is just simply pull these out and try to keep them as whole as possible so that way they don't get um, mutilated and some of them sometimes out of the can do come a little bit uh, broken up and all you want to do is just simply place these into the uh, tender crisp plate air crisp tray here and arrange them in a way that they can get maximum airflow and then what you want to do is just put those in and then what will happen is as the time goes on it takes about eight hours for these to cook for these to get dehydrated and it's just a simple process of just setting it and just moving on with your day. And then this acts as an air freshener in your home, really, when the food is preparing. So when the, that ring is in there, and if you have a larger pot, whether it's a six quart or an eight quart, yours is a little bit taller than my five quart pot here. And you can buy a, a rack that will allow you to stack fruit or foods on top of one another and then continue to use that space vertically. In my particular case, this is just a simple one can of pineapple rings, and then I'm just going to place that there in a uh, strategic circle. And then all it is is just a matter of turning this on. And what you do is turn that on and then utilize that button that's on the front. This is the one that has the dehydrate button. And so what you do is turn on the power, dehydrate over here. And it goes to 150 degrees, and that's actually a good temperature. I'm just going to hit start. And then the key is to get that to about, um, I'm sorry, I'm hitting the wrong button. It's actually supposed to be the time button. And that's going to be for about eight hours. And then it's going to go for eight hours, and it's going to prepare that um, food. And by the time it's all done, this is going to have all of that sweet juice locked in. No added sugar. You can add some cinnamon to it if you'd like to, but I just like it plain. And this is just a great treat for everybody in the family. But when this is done, I want to show you what this ends up looking like. Wow, friends, the dehydrator just got done. And I want to share with you the finished product. This is what the pineapple rings look like. And the beauty of it is that the nonstick surface of the air crisp tray ends up making them able to pop right out very easily. So this is what the rings look like. And as you can see here, they are nice and firm, yet chewy when you pop it in your mouth. Perfect snack to take on the go and have for little ones or anybody else who is wanting a sweet treat. So if you like sweet snacks on the go, make sure to try these at home. It's super easy to make. Use fresh pineapple, use canned pineapple, whatever suits you. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know in the comments below what you're dehydrating, and I would love to try that as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you guys back again soon. Thanks for hanging with JK.